I'm intrigued at the lack of women in IT leadership. And as a female leader, it perplexes me. I'm, I'm not a thousand years old. Um, I've got two young children. I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. Um, and I'm a chief information officer. Did I think that I would ever end up in IT? No. Um, I started out in arts and sciences. I was a communication undergrad. I then was recognized for an affinity in being able to sort of adopt softwares and, and programming. So I went into the web development area and then programming ERP system uh, work. But there seems to be the impression that it's not cool to go into technology. You know, you've got all the nerds. You know, all, thought nerds were cool these days. I've seen t-shirts. Um, but I do think that the CIO role, IT leadership, IT in general, is a perfect career choice for a female these days. One that doesn't have a family yet, that's wanting to start a family, that's raising a family, whose kids are going to college. Um, I think that it is, um, it's a 24-7 gig, but if you build the right team underneath you, there's nothing that keeps me up at night. So it's just continually trying to understand how we can get more girls interested in moving towards sort of the STEM environment. Because for me, it seems like there's only gonna be more technology jobs. The pay rate is unmatched as it pertains to just getting a four-year degree and going into a career field. Um, and, I, and I'm just really trying to figure out the best way to steer my five-year-old girl you know, into a field that can be so lucrative and so fulfilling um, that is traditionally male. I don't know, I, I can't put my finger on it. I think that it's probably, you know, there's still girls that don't want to be the smart kid in class. There's still girls, you know, that um, think that it may not be cool to, you know, go into the technology realm. I'm hoping with all of this social media move and, you know, all of this web work that that is going to change over time because there's just as many girls carrying around a smartphone as there are boys. Um, but it's just sort of getting them into that field. I, it, 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 it is a boys club. I applied for a position and was offered the job when I lived in Dallas. And one of the discussions that was had was, you know, you're going to have all males reporting to you. And some of them come from a culture that's not necessarily respectful of female leadership. How will you handle that? You know, Fine. it doesn't bother me. I mean, I don't, and so, and so maybe that's something that just needs to be innate that, you know, I, I don't care what you throw at me. It's not gonna affect me personally. When I started at Fairfield University, there weren't any females in leadership within the IT team. There are now, um, but it's, it's interesting because the way IT continues to shift and change, it's really almost designed for a woman these days. I mean, it's less, it's less schlepping around hardware. It's less connecting switches. It's uh, more in marketing and selling technology and infusing you know, campuses or environments or institutions with technology. That is strange. I don't I get it. that would be gone by now. I mean, I don't. It's still very old school. I mean, you get a bunch of girl programmers, but you don't get a lot of female leaders, unless you're with the AJCU institutions. And then we've got a ton of female leaders.